If you remember a while back, um, I cut the roof off a of Jaguar. And it's a nice little, it's a nice little roof. It has nice little round places here. It's got a nice, um, the nice back window. I cut the roof out of it because I used the center of the roof of it because it had a slide uh, sunroof in it. But I want to bring it in and just check it out, slide it on top of the car and just check it out. And the reason being is I have it. Why would I, why would I not try it on? See what that shape looks like. I just want to see what the shape looks like. And I'm, yeah. I know the posts aren't going to hit up anywhere here, anywhere special. But the only thing I'm, what I'm thinking is, you know, let's face it, we took the roof off the car and we put it on the back of the car. If I wanted to put the Jaguar roof on the car, I'm sure that I could make it work, you know, basically, with a little bit of slice in here, a little bit of slice in there. But uh, it does have a nice little, little roof. So me and Nathan, Nathan <laughs> should get your coat on maybe, please. <laughs> or you don't have to get your coat on if you don't want to, but oh, it's probably we, cold out. We ain't going to be long. A pair of gloves. No, Just do know. a little mocky food. That's what I'm doing. I like the back window's kind of nice. That's isn't not it? a bad looking roof like the that. The back window's kind of nice, isn't it? Well, see, I don't, I don't know what happened to that, but. No, no, I know. But I see, what can I see? Like. See potential. I see potential. I do. Hercules, no, no, no. Watch your knee on that thing. You'll have a, you'll have a, a, a boo boo on your knee. <laughs> This is not actually a Carson top, but the car's not actually, well, wasn't supposed to be a bike, uh, a bike hauler either, so. <laughs> okay, cool. Oof. I damn near went down. So what do you want to go on, here, want to stand on the side, Chad? Let's see if I can get in there. No, uh, sideways, this way would be lower. Yeah, okay. Here, I'll just go like this. Like that, how's that? There we go. Watch your ankle. So if you have, if you have an old like car and you're customizing, I can tell you something. It's really fun to try on some stuff that you have and see whether you like it or not. What I'd like to do is I'd like to get rid of the posts. It's just nice that the posts are there. To, it holds the roof up. Let's yep. bring it over this side a little bit. Yeah, go over the other side. Go over the other side there. The late rig on its top. Let's, talk to the let's, uh, let's, let's set it up on the car. Or you think I should cut the post off first? Might as well cut the we just flip it on this roof here and cut the post straight off if you want. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Probably be easiest. Probably. The only thing, like I said, the only thing I guess I, guess I was thinking was if I didn't like it, well, then I would, then I would uh, keep the post for holding it up. But I can't see what it looks like if I don't cut the post off, does it? Right. Alrighty. Is it blade right here, buddy? I got the. the Reciprocator right here it might make a lot of noise, but hey, whatever you, whatever I think. It's, yeah, whatever tickles your fancy, old if buddy. If you want to hold it, I'll give her a shot. Let's be okay. It's not plugged in. Maybe I will take the grinder. It's not plugged in either. <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking glasses. first cut, that's all. Okay, just a second. I'll grab some. First cut. Safety glasses are over here. Cut the reciprocator's all blade off. This off. It's going to be set too <laughs> pieces if you know what I'm saying. I guess I could have. Okay. 
I get it. Something in there, water right. or something there, Janet. Yeah. What I'm thinking is, I want to think with this roof, I do not know. It looks huge, actually, to be honest with you. Take the glass. Quite wide, doesn't it? Looks huge looking like that, but um, you can obviously see that that would be, be pretty easy to snip off anything that I needed to come down here to fit that. I just, I just gotta have to see. It's a nice shape back here, like. though, isn't it? My mic is banging down. She says, "Sorry, people. I want you to hear everything I'm saying." Shh. Uh, gloves. So, what I'm thinking is your back window should be about right, right, sort of there. That's what I'm thinking. And I'll just stick this over top of that. Okay, is what I'm thinking. You should be able to visit, maybe, maybe visualize that. I'm not sure. Get your foot over here. And if you scratch it, I'm not sure what to say. Just a second. Go over, I'm going to go over a little further. Just, yeah. Okay. But. I want to pick this side up. I'll pull this side over a little bit. We're not hitting right now, but. Just want to set it right down. Sit right down. down. I just want to pull over this way a little bit. Yeah, so there. What'd you say this was off of? Jaguar. It's got the same groove kind of shape in the front of it. That looks pretty cool. Not bad. You know, the shape here is really neat. It is nice, isn't it? And what I'm saying is, like, that could be sectioned up. Yeah. Like, I don't care about the back window right this present second. I mean, I don't need the back window, but that could be sectioned. And fit on there and break made come forward to that roof and basically what i'm looking at is this like this all can be trimmed off obviously i mean it can be trimmed and, and pushed together like i mean this roof can be sectioned up i can use this section make this fit here tied into right here this piece right that's the piece that we're looking for that one right there cut that in half tie this piece on cut that in half tie that one on Remember what you were saying about the back of the doors that time? If you look inside the hole, look at the back of the doors kind of would... Yeah, like that could be set right on right there. Yeah, right this to there. This piece right yeah. there could be set on right there. And basically what I would do to start this off is I would take and cut it... Here somewhere. i cut this off and then cut it down through the middle. Take however many inches take, we need. Take that side and put, make that side work on that side. Like cut it, bring it up to this post. Yep. Make it cut on that side and fit it up to here because we got the drip rail. I don't know if we want drip rail, but that could fit right with this. It could be down on the other side of that. It, it wouldn't take much. Actually, a couple cuts and you could take that and you could overlap one over the other and set it right on. Come, come this way, sweetheart. Just look how... You know, I mean, it's sitting on one side, but you sure can see how it could fit, you know, and come down to there. We don't. So that's going to come up a little yeah. bit. But it wouldn't make it. So what happened if I grab this in the front? It's just that it's so hard that it's. Well, that would have to, that would have to, I would want to cut that yeah. so that there met that. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Kind of scratching the patina, aren't we, sweetheart? We have the Jaguar roof sitting on the ground. Um, what me and Doug are going to do, we're going to try to fit that bad boy on today. We're going to try to fit it on, see what it looks like. We're going to play a game of checkers with the roof because there's certain ways we can cut it to try to make it fit, and there's a different way we can cut it to make it fit, but that's what we're going to do. Um, we have made a decision. Um, it just came in a couple minutes ago about the car hauler and this this comment here makes me think that I am doing the right thing can you read it to him Jolene please 
I searched the internet for hours. I searched different countries. I could not find one single picture of a bike car hauler anywhere in all the car show pics. I honestly don't think it has ever been done. Put your mark on the map. You're the only builder that could pull, pull this off. That, 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 that is awesome. I appreciate that. I thank you very much. And I generally always say, those who beat to, the beat to their own drum shape the world. And uh, when you do stuff like this, it's basically, I'm beating to my own drum. It's what I want to do. And sometimes it shapes the world because other people will do it after we have done it. And uh, it feels good for someone to recognize that, that we are not doing anything that anybody else is doing. We're trying to be our own person and we're being creative with the stuff that we're doing. Thank you very much. Whoever threw that comment out, do we know? I want to thank him first. Give him a big thanks. Happy RV2061. Happy RV2601. Thank you very much for your comment. I appreciate it. He's a happy I'm glad camper. you noticed. All right, so we're going to try to put this... Doug's got boots on. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to try to put this roof on the car. It does not fit. You've seen me, me and Nathan put it on. It did not fit. It was way over here up the front. The back did not fit. So what's going to happen is we're going to section the roof to try to make it fit. Um, and the reason I'm going this way or trying this is because the car's on top means I have to get someone to cover the top. And it would cost money to do that. And I have to rely on somebody else to get that done. <laughs> I don't want to do that. We have this roof right here. Yeah. The car, we're going to leave the car in the patina that it has on it. We're going to try to, you know, we got ground, we're going to grind the wells that we have done. But the patina on this car is going to be look very good, or I think it does. When we put the white roof on it, the patina there was very good. That's what Jolene said. She liked the rust part on it. Kind of goes with what's going on here. If we are able to manage to get the roof on, we don't have to wait for nobody to do anything other than ourselves to get it done. So what I'm thinking is, this is the thing I'm going through. The back window piece here going across, if I snip it out from this side, that side, if I snip it right out and cut the roof in half, it, sure, it would be easier, I think, to deal with to make these corners fit the car. If I snip it in half here and try to put it on, well, that means once I get it together, I just got one weld mark down through the middle and then I got it put back together. But I still have this little thing going on and on that you really, it, it's hard to tell if it's going to be straight, good or not, or, you know. So it's either, it's game of checkers, either snip it right out, pull it out, section it and put it back in. I'm talking this piece. Or we can cut it in the middle, leave it in the middle, leave it dangling over the center and have it going wherever it wants to go. I'm just not sure yet. The roof is too long, so we're going to have to cut it off. In the front, we're way too long. We don't want all this up front. This is for something else. Uh, da, 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 da. What else am I going to say? Yeah, so basically we're just going to keep cutting and trying to make it fit. We're going to go for it. Um, all right. Let's, I'm going to chalk line. We'll chalk line it and try to get it going down through the middle. We'll need a tape measure. Doug, this is your center spot right there, old brother. Sweet. That's your center spot for the chalk when it comes time. I'm going to try to find the center of the back. Appreciate everybody coming back. We really do. Thank you. Haven't got a marker first thing this morning. I feel like I'm... I'll get one though. I'll get one. Marker stash. Also with the car, I noticed that I didn't cut all the way up on the round stock here. I'm gonna cut that all the way up, pull that piece out and put one piece in there because we got some leftover over there and I can weld the one piece up here, across here. I started welding across here, not necessary. We'll cut that off, put a weld mark up here. We'll weld across here and put one piece in there instead of putting it in the middle. I think it would look better. That was Jolene's Agreed. idea. That was Jolene's, Jolene's idea. Full of old, full of ideas. She, she is. is. Full of but we can only take the ones that we think that really work. So, um, oh, center. We want to get center of the roof. I don't know how I'm going to get center of the roof. Bum, 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 bum. Piece of tape. Let me get a piece of tape. Piece of three quarter inch tape. Piece of so what, what, what I'm going to do for to get the center of this, I am going to start a piece of tape here, run it all the way across, and then we'll just 
fold it in half or measure three quarter inch be fine either other man yep so i'm just going to do this fine center of the roof let's do this i know i cut it off the same spot or i think i did i think i did it slid down quite a ways this tape went that way tape went what way? yeah you want to move it you want to come over here and move it again Yeah, it's going, going uphill a bit. <laughs> going uphill there a little yeah. bit? I don't think it matters a whole lot as long as you bring them both back together. Okay. Cool. That is. Pull the tape off. I'm just going to cut this. Hard thing to do sometimes is find the center of something when it's round. You want to pull that piece of tape off, Dad? It's right at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, good. Flat right there. Pull that tape. Just pull it in the center there. Just pull it and put it together. Oh, no so worries. Pull it right keep keep your fingers. Stay, stay there. Don't, don't come towards me. Finger. Pull my finger back. Thanks, bud. You fired it? No, I didn't. Hey. Not this time. <laughs> hmm. Same place? Should have marked the same place or not? Oh, yeah. Put the same place? About that, yep. Yeah. Huh, look at that little hole right there. We're pretty close. I think that's center right there. <laughs> it makes sense, eh? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Looks center. Good. That's good enough, I think. We was gonna get it close, how's that? It's gonna get it close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section it, I'm gonna cut it in half, and the reason we're gonna cut it in half is because it's too wide. So we're gonna to have to, there's gonna be some coming out of the middle, we don't know how much yet. We do not know how much yet. Talk. Oh, you hook your center up, Douglas. Bear with me because, you know, this is the first time that I've cut a roof off of that's not the first, no, it's not time. Um, I guess I guess it was going to be the first time I've ever really sectioned a roof up in, in half, I guess. Um, every other time it's kind of just lowering it down. You can ping yours in the front, Dave. Yeah. Not a very good lowering. Good enough. Good enough, it says. Isn't it? Mm, kind of. What? I cut it. I'd eyeball it. <laughs> You'd eyeball it? I sure would. Okay, you can cut yours and you know where your center yep. is. Like, that's yeah. no problem. If you want to take a zip cut and get it ready, Doug, and cut that if you want to. Sure, Doc. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to cut her in half. The back piece, I do not know. I do not know whether I want to cut that in half and then bring it together or cut it out as one piece and then fit it in after. I don't know. I, I think that, in all honesty, I think this is going to be in the way. I just want to make less cuts as possible to put it on there. So if I cut it out here where it's straight, just come in here and cut it where it's straight. Boom, cut that. Cut that where it's straight. Then I could take some off an end if I wanted to to put it back in and then weld it back in. If I leave that out there, that means it's going to be dangling back and forth. I do, know, do not know how much I'm going to be cutting out of the center of it. I don't know. I'm going to cut it, I think, here. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut it where it's straight. No angle in there where it's straight. I'm going to cut it down there. All the angle's gone. So I'll leave the angle. I'll know where it goes, but I want to cut it down straight. We'll do here. Here. There. We'll cut that out. Excuse me. So it's straight. Doug, you're more than welcome to cut the center if you like. Excellent. To be 
honest with you, to be honest with you, even us, we don't have to cut the center of that. We do not have to do that. And the reason being is, we don't need all this. We need, we need this. We need this, yeah. Alrighty, let's do this then, Doug. Okay. Let's cut it off. See this, see this thing right here? Sure. Got one right there? Yep. Cut it. I'm gonna mark a line. I can see it. The second I want to mark it, it's easier. You got a dirt line now. Dirt line. Cut that right there. Sure. So, no harm, no foul. We're not gonna be using it anyways, I don't think. We'll cut it off. No, we're no, no, we're back here. <laughs> back here. That way there we don't need the front. Pull that aside. We need this area in the back. All right, go for it. one on the other side just so you don't get jammed up you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying go ahead man <clears throat> still attached a little bit on that side I've just been informed that there's a little bit of bum crack showing. What? And it was mine. Oh, it was yours? Okay. And yeah. <laughs> Doug goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> I got a bum? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's cut that off. My shirt must be a little short. My bum's growing one the other. Something's growing. That don't plug in to each other, Doug. <sighs> Something's growing, he says. Something's growing. Just want to hold, yeah. Just hold this. Just hold this, yeah. Did we do the right thing? Not sure. Did we do the right thing? Well, you got a section there, Doug. Sure do. Hoping to have to use that again. Oh, well, now, we have... We've got to cut the roof in half. There. I'll do that one. Shit. This is supposed to be G-rated, so I'll get them again. G-rated, isn't it? Is that cursing again? No. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Mr. Paul, Just my sunshiny was showing. All right. Ready, Douglas? Nope. I have to make this. Um, I'm cutting this out. I just think it, I just. I just think it'll make things easier with that missing. For now. So we're gonna keep that. We wanna keep it right over there. Let's cut it down.
Nope, there's just wood in there. I think come yes, come right out, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm just screwed right in there. All right, I'm just gonna cut that off. Got me all paranoid now. <laughs> Put my pants up, I'm sure you know. <laughs> my ass must have grew this big. All right. Let's flip this one on, Doug. We'll flip one on. Set it over here for now. Some goodies. And we're going to try to take this piece of the roof and try to get it going here. What I'm thinking is, as I flop this down over, take a look at it. We have this piece right here. I must have cut it. I'm sure that I've cut it off with the line of the roof that was on the Jaguar. We have this piece right here. It kind of kicks ahead a little bit right there. We want that right there. right there at the start of that door so that's that's a that's a start that's all I can tell you that's a start let's put it on and me cutting that center piece out of the back window might be a mistake I have no idea but I mean, find out the hard way find out the hard way all right now one thing I I do see let's bring this out this way so that goes down on there. I want that metal down on the roof. Some this piece. All right. In order to get, um, let me get in there and hold it. No, I want to just try to see if I can get some more cut off it and see if we can get it down in there. For you can see right now, or I can see right now that is hitting on the inside of there's a this is two pieces or three pieces in there that has to be scalloped out i don't want to cut the height of this off but it has to be scalloped out on the inside to get that set down on there and it has to get set down on there quite a ways because we want this to fit this so there's quite a bit of um what what is there quite a bit of scribing just go ahead your way a little bit Doug. just a little just no actually come back Sorry. Um, which what should it be? Nope. See this right here? This is where I'm gonna go for this piece right here. That's on the front of the roof right there. This piece. Mm -hmm. I want on the front of the, right here. Mm -hmm. She's got it. Alrighty. Let's move the head your way, Doug, a little bit. Right there. Whoop. That's good. That's not like it's not far off. Like, in the back, it's not. It's not really far off. In that piece in the center, I don't know. Like it's not far off. Like wow. Yeah. Is it? Like it just needs a little bit of. It needs some tweaking in the center. Tweak. And, and the reason it needs a tweaking in the center is because it's cut in half. It looks to me like there's going to be three or four inches cut of that. But this piece here. Back right there. We're going to cut that off. We don't want to cut it off short. We don't want to cut it off short. No, we can't cut it off there. We need to come up here. Come around here. To me, it looks like um, we got to we got to cut it off here. We see where Doug's finger is right there. That's the start of the roof right there. So we, we need this metal here to come down to weld onto this metal right here. 
this metal here to come down and weld on that. We want to butt weld it together. I just don't know what's going on here yet. We got this piece of metal stuck over here still. Um, that, that may need to be cut off and make this come down to fit to there. It's looking like it's going to have to be cut off to me to make it come down, right? Because this piece, this inner construction here could go straight forward and go into this. That's what I'm thinking. So if we cut our a little bit, I've got a little bit too much on there. You're going to cause waste this way. Yeah, okay. But we got, yeah, it's okay. See what you're saying? We need to go this way. Um, I think I think this has to be cut off. I do. At least the lip of it. Well, see this when this see this inner construction here. This inner construction is going straight. Um, are we going to match it up with that and then cut that off there? Or maybe that would be the thing to do. Cut the inner construction off here. Cut that inner construction out up to here and leave the at least leave the metal there for. It. That seems like a good thing to do. All right, we're back here where we belong. We're back there where we belong. I'm gonna take a zip cut. And we're gonna zip cut that right along with that, this piece, so we can see if we can get that to fit down on that. We'll have to peel this inner construction out, but we want the metal. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Don't cut too much out. <laughs> Wait, we're right back here where we wanna be back here. That's what we're gonna do, Doug. We're gonna pull that roof off. Let's pull the roof off. Let's cut this inner construction in if we can. Pair of channel locks dug up there. You want to grab me? Pair of channel locks up there. Over this way, I think. They might be over there. I'm not sure. Just to pull metal out of there. That's all. I like these ones. I like them both, but you know how it goes, Doug. at that post and that's why she's I leave the desk up in a hurry thank you thank you <coughs> we might even want another one if you want to go and grab a couple of dogs around that desk. thing please and thank you I'll keep cutting <laughs> Gotta make sure I don't cut the roof skin. I wanna make sure I'm past our line, which I am.
doing more of a job than I think to get that out. Now! And we'll do this. A little bit at a time. packing I guess until I get it cleaned out I want the roof I want the skin I got it cut back here but I want the skin up here so I don't want this in there I just want the, the skin oh, if I cut it off I'm gonna cut it off just want to turn it over for a second just make sure I'm doing the right thing I'm flop it over so I have this is the piece right here where I've got a cut where I think it's going to hit on that post going there. This is where I drew where I think I need the metal to cover that. So I'm going to come above that a little bit, probably an inch before that. So I'm going to go an inch before that. That way there, I'm, it's not too short. piece to cut down. Bear with me. Woohoo! Flop it back upside, upside down again. Get, get some more of this cut out. Now I can see what's going on. You can see the layers of metal in here. Did I just say that? They layered the metal on this? I just said that. They layered the metal on this. You so you can see how the roof comes down. They got a layer of metal on the inside. We're going to cut that free. Well, no, it's not free yet. And I am just hacking it out, trying to get it out of there. Do not want to hack the roof skin, not even close. Let's try it, Tuckles. We haven't got it really cleaned out yet, but that's that'll come. We want that sitting right about right there, look. That sitting right about the start of that. And we're close. Nope, it's got the wind like that. Nope, it's about there like that for that to line up. 
Yeah, we've got roof skin. We've got roof skin. My glasses are so dirty I cannot see. Now, if I take a zip cut, that doesn't look too bad, you know. Um, we're gonna come ahead a little bit right there. I wonder if we put something in the center there to hold that up. What would that be? Piece of wood. We burned it all. We threw it all no, away. No, no, no. I got a piece of wood. No, there's a piece of wood. No, 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 no. No, no. There we go. Lift up just a little bit. Just lift it up a little bit. There we go. I'm not sure if that's right or not. That there is supposed to be where it's supposed to be. And that there is actually where it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm just kind of wondering to cut that and make that come down right. All right, Tuckles. Um, let's cut. Let's get, let's get this scoped out. You can see if you come up in here, Jolene can show you. You can see up in there, there's metal inside this piece here. It's hitting. If you come down from the side, you can see where that metal's hitting. We just got to scope that out. We'll take the sander. We'll sand that it. We'll get that sitting down nice, and then we'll go for that. I guess they have to take a look at this. That's badass. That's badass. Get that down a little bit. All right, Douglas, grab that bow, brother. That piece of wood's gonna fall. If you wanna grab that piece of wood, just lay it there somewhere. Can you reach it, big fella? My butt crack her. hanging out. You got her. I'm just going to sand that down there a little bit. Yeah. Try not to damage the roof while I'm doing it. I know it's setting on its top. I mean, it shouldn't. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to sand. It was not fitting. It was hitting here. So I'm going to try to sand. We don't have to worry about too much. Ooh. What do you think of that, Doug? Mm -hmm. That came down there nicely. It came down a lot, didn't it? It did. Yeah, that's almost weldable, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Man. All right. That's on the front of that. Was that meant to be, uh, or what? I kind of think it was, man. Like, this part here, I'm I'm, I, there's way. something got to go on there. Maybe like, it can come up a little bit. The middle there or something. Yeah. Get a piece of wood. This back might have to curl in. That nose. Oh, whatever. Just hold that somewhat, I guess. If it falls, it falls. <laughs> I thought it just moved. Just keep a hold of it, Doug, somewhat so the okay. roof doesn't take off. Now, I'm gonna. Now, I've got this, I got this out quite a ways. You can see how you can put your hand in there. Hmm. But what it's telling me is, what is it telling me? I gotta, if I push that in, okay, I'm gonna push that in. Come look at the line when I push that in. Just, that was the line I made, which is, now if I push it in, if I didn't leave a little extra, I'd be shy. I've got a little bit shy down here. But in all honesty, this is sitting good back here. I got to keep an eye on this. It's right on that line. That's sitting good. I could almost weld that. It's, it's, I could almost weld that. I just have to get the front of the roof. I can get that, I think. Hold her, Doug. I'm going to cut her with a zip cut. I've got a spot where I think I can zip cut it together. Also, I've been thinking about the windows for the Jaguar. I still have those. Still have them. You don't let it down. Damn. So I cut it together. Um, probably easier if I took it off. Mark it. And so. Keep 
right there for a sec. All right, let's let's take let's take the roof off and I'll sand it back. Careful, this bad boy. I'm just gonna sand that back. I think it's gonna be a easier than. <laughs> get two cords going here and try to make it a little bit quicker. See if we can get that one side popped on. Quite a bit of metal action going on right here. You might have to peel more of it off. We'll see what happens. You know where your back goes, Doug, to the to the point. Just right to the point of yeah. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Just a second. Let me see this right here. And you can see little if I take an I can almost put that right on that line. Um, it fits pretty good right on there. We could weld that right along there, we could. And if it doesn't sit, see how we're up here a little bit, that just means we got to sand a little bit off the front, that's all. Um, I'm in here a little bit, got to sand off some more. Got to have that go down inside. And this is going to take some time, and the reason being is it got two pieces to try to make them look the same and if you're you've got them cut in half and one piece is over here and one piece is over there you're going to be a lot of running around the vehicle to see if it looks the same okay that's what's going to happen Trying to get rid of some of that metal right here. I'm gonna be able to get rid of it now. I wanna be able to get rid of it. I wanna get rid of it. I'm gonna take a screwdriver and see if I can peel it off. That's not, that's not what I wanna do. Well, that's the roof itself. And then, okay, this is this is the roof metal here, which I want. Just got a little piece off it I did. And then there's inside construction and then drip rail. Ugh. Let's try it again. <laughs> Ugh. You know where that goes pretty well? We are we are talking like we're almost there. with you that could go across like that we're basically there basically there I'm gonna try to zip cut through that for a second now I am come look I am dead on Dead on right there. I could weld that right there. Dead on. This little lip here does not matter at the present moment. Actually, actually, I don't want that down further. I may want that down further. I'm not sure. Yes, I think I do. I think I want. I'm not sure if I want that lip, but I like to have this flat surface here with this flat surface. I'm thinking. I'm not sure yet. 
This is fitting good back here. I can't say anything about this back here. It's kind of crazy, no, eh? Really, yeah. Um, that kind of turns that back window. Do you notice that? Yeah. How I've got. What happened is when I cut that roof in half, cut the roof in half, it's like this. What I'm doing is I'm bringing, bringing this side over. So it's actually flipping that window out this way. You know what I mean? It's not going straight across anymore. I've got this, I'm turning the roof so it's narrow in the center. I am, and I'm losing. What am I losing? Hope it's not my mind. It's already gone, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone. I'm gonna zip cut <laughs> again, Doug. No. <laughs> To figure out where I want to put it. I'm just going to stand back, take a look at it for a second. Yeah, I like it. What I don't know is what's going on with the back window. I don't know what's going on there yet. Um, but what I am going to do though. It looks pretty good for like tacking it on, doesn't it? No. I could fill that up. I just gotta, I gotta make up my mind what I want to do over here. That's all. It's curved and it's gotta kind of roll flat. Well, it's kind of got a, we've got a thing going on here. This is probably gonna have to be built out and, and changed here on the post because I can't, I can't, I can't uh, make two posts line up that don't line up. I can I can weld them together, but if they're not the same shape, they're not the same shape. And I could bring that and cruise that right up into there and smooth that off. And this could be filled in. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Right. Hmm. 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 All right, so I'm going to I'm going to tack it on there. It looks. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It's, it's too good to me. Like it's right on. I don't know what else to say. Like that fits right there, dude, doesn't it? Right on the like it's right on the line of the where it stops. And I mean the door can be shaved down a little bit. That's fine. All right, I'm going to clean up the edges, and then I'm going to tack this bad boy on. Drip mail, drip rail molding, drip rail. I'm um, not sure, but not sure. See, what's that? You like the drip rail molding? Uh, but we cut it off the front. Right? That's kind of a weld back on. Mm. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up here. I'm going to clean that all on there, and we'll clean the roof all the way along there. Yeah, when that comes out, that fits right. You know? I know. When it, you got to bring that yeah. middle up to get it to but slide look, in. Look, look at the window. Yeah. That's, Doug's got a spider climbing off his hat. Huh? <laughs> we don't want to hurt your little foe. He put you over there. See what's going on there now? I have that window's point way over there. Yep. I see it now. So yeah. there's no way, there's no way if Julie wants to come take a look, there's no way the back window is going to work as it, as it was. There's no way. So what's right. going to have to happen is we're going to have to, we're going to have to cut the section, the back window section out and replace the back section back in. It shouldn't be that hard. All it is is sectioning it and moving the window. We'll put the window back together, no doubt. We'll probably end up cutting the window out of it and wet welding the window sac section back together and then putting it back in the roof, yeah. like we always do. So I'm going to clean up around sense. this edge, clean up that edge. We'll cut this edge and make this fit. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut the back window out this second, but I think I should. All right, let's do it. Let's pull this out. Pull this off. Now that back window, just want to take a look at that for a second. It's 
So what I should probably do is cut the back window section out and then put the back window section in after the roof's on. Um, 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 um. And I probably should do both because it's not going to work. All it's do is going to hinder us. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to cut the back window section out right now. I'm going to cut it right around there. Um, and we'll do the exact same thing on that side. I got the piece that I cut of the center so I can put it all back together. It's just one cut here and one cut there. We'll put it all back together. We might even section it and make it smaller so it fits in there. But as it goes right now, the, when we pull this, put the roof on here, it, when we put the post out here, it brings the roof together, which points the back window out. And it's not going to work anymore. Not going to work anymore. All right. I think the thing to do is cut it out. I'm going to clean a couple things, make up my mind while I'm cleaning things. Let me. Running into lots of lead, lead around there. If I want to cut the window the second or, or what's that? Yeah, it's a lot harder when it's on the car, and I'm going to try to cut down to the bottom of the window to, on the corner. Trying to, if I got the roof all on, I'm going to cut down and then be cutting the car. So. <laughs> Exact same thing on the other side. Is I'll cut that. That out. And then maybe maybe we can section this, put this all back together. Shouldn't be that hard, I wouldn't think. It all lines up. Put that back together with that. No, nope, it doesn't go there. We can weld that back together like that and get our back window back in place. And then we'll see if we can't slide that back in there. So let's cut that aside. Let's get this welder going. So every little hurdle that I come across is, that can be plugged in right here, Douglas. Every little hurdle that we come across, we just kind of go with something else. Like with the hurdle with the back window going this way, the hurdle is to cut the back window out and get it straightened out. So we'll do that here in a minute or two, I guess. Let's put this on. 
<clears throat> yeah, we're gonna put that right. I'm gonna put that right. Hey, where are you at? Where are you at, Doug? You right here? Yeah, I'm right here. Okay, I'm gonna weld that right there. That's, that will fit good. I can weld that right there. Oh, I'm gonna draw a little line around your back there. We gotta clean that off. If we're gonna weld it to the car. Look at Doug struggling. There you go. Be less struggle. It's a true last struggle. Now, where do I want that to? Oh, I want that weld right there. Bingo, bango. Actually, I want that. To come, I want that to come down some. Or what's going on here? Why? Okay, that's it in there. Going to just one second, Doug. I'm sand this for a second. Watch your eyeballs. There's gonna to have to be some metal action going on up here to make this look right. This post is gonna probably get made a little bit bigger. This is gonna be cut off, no doubt in my mind. Then there's gonna to have to be a piece of metal welded here and fill this gap in because there's, we want it to come up flat with the rest of it. Can we go back? Why is that not sitting down for me anymore? Too big of a hole going or what's going on here? This block is holding us a bit high. Is it holding you high? So, let's see what it says. This is the one I'm worried about up here. Why does it keep sliding up on me? I want to come down something. what I want to do. Nope, I want to. Hmm. I could grind that off. A second. I'm gonna grind that off. Watch your eyeballs, Doug. Yeah, a little bit further it did. What if I do it that way? That's right there where I like it. I like it, I like that right there. Still, we're still over a lot too long now. We have to cut some more off. If you know what I'm saying, see how that's back now? Yep. Back, it can't, can't come ahead, it needs to come ahead. Can't come ahead, it needs to be cut off. Now, both sides of these are cut the same, are they not? Yeah, yeah on both sides. One well, yeah. thing, I'd like to leave those and sand that back. Just bring it just a little bit. That's there, fitting good. As soon as I do that, it pushes it back. All right, let's take it off. Sand it a little bit more. See what happens. Hoping I'm not sanding too much. Find a happy spot, I guess. Just gotta find a happy spot. Yeah, happy. All right, I'm gonna tack it on there, and then I'm going to. What am I gonna do? That just has to be ground back a little bit more. Let's grind this back just a little bit more.
So basically what I'm looking for is I want it to fit back there and I want a good fit up here. And that's right where I want it, right there, I think. See, that looks better. That's what I think I wanted. It's not even... One more time. <laughs> One more time. Sure, Chad. <laughs> Against there. That fits back there. I'm gonna take the drip rail molding hard up there. That's where the roof wants to be. I guess. Is that where it wants to be? Looks close to me. I wanna cut. What am I gonna cut? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tack that there. Is that the new helmet? No, this is the new one. Where are we at for time, sweetheart? 58. We'll get it tacked on, take a look at it, and then go from there. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. Now, set right, gas is on. Gonna tack it where I can cut it off, hopefully. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Tag right here. One little tack. Ah, 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 ah. And, that's, that fits nice. Let's take this, take a little paint off. Now all I'm doing is push, pushing that over to the drip rail fits. That's basically where the drip rail would be running. We're hired over. Mm -hmm. We're fitting good. All right, we're tacked on. What does that do to that? That makes that not fit at all, doesn't it? Mm. Huh? It fits until you push down the front. It fit until I push the front down? As soon as you undo the tack in the front, that will come down and it fits. As soon as you tack the front on, it lifts the back. That's basically like basically where it's got to go, though. You know, line up with the with the with this going here like this. This can be filled in and dealt with. That can be, and that can have a half inch body fill back here. Half inch body fill. Half an inch body fill. Is that it? Is that <laughs> it? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut this off. Spur. Okay, that looks better to me than having it. So if I lift that back up, it's not gonna fit here if I lift that back up, obviously. It's not gonna fit. So obviously, I'd have to chew more off the underneath that to bring that down. So that's gotta, that would have to come down in the back. I don't think I want it to come down in the back, to be honest with you. Would you want that to come down in the back? No. Me neither. Like, so, so basically what it's going to consist of, um, there's going to have to be something going along here to fill that up. Like we can make a, a body molding to go around there if you know what I'm trying to say. There could be something like 
bent that went in there that we can weld in there to make that body line, see what happens. I want to cut this front up here before I let you go. Just want to cut it and see what I can make it look like. Doesn't fit bad. Doesn't fit bad at all. Nope, not at all. So I'm thinking the drip rail molding will be cut off. And the reason being is this is cut off. I don't feel like I want to try to make that oomph there. I think I'd like to make that transition go up with that. Um, this can be cut. This can be cut and butted along here. Just gonna have to keep going until it fits right, that's all. In my opinion, I like, in this, my opinion, I like what's going on with the roof right now. I don't mind it. I do not like that this has come apart here. Um, with, like, like Jolene said, when this come up, that obviously fit. Um, with that up and that fitting, that doesn't fit. So we're gonna have to compromise or it's gonna have to go somewhere like this. And the reason being is, It's where it fits. You know, the roof has got to lay down here. I'm, going, I'm thinking about, well, I'm gonna wall the roof right along in here, trying to make that look like uh, the roof was a top that's been added, like it has been. And back here, it's gonna be have to be dealt with um, some kind of something. I'm sure we can do something to make it work. But right now, we've got one side of the Jaguar roof on with no back window. Uh, and I'm hoping that, ugh, see there's metal that's gonna, It might be able to be, that can be pushed in there. Sure it can. That's gonna work. Well, come take a look. Watch. Let's just push it in like yay. Like hey, yay. Push that in, make it come down on there. I think we can make that work. The dent there, that was always there obviously. So what we're gonna do is we'll get the other side, try to make the other <laughs> side look like this side. And then it's a matter of trying to bring it all together. This, you can see this cut here. See how the back window is going, pointing towards the back of the car? There's gonna to have to be a piece cut this way, you know, to straighten that out. See what happens. We've got her in pieces right <coughs> there, but um, that's, that's the part of making a custom car, I guess, is if you gotta take that risk. No risk, no reward. Got that right. And remember, those who beat to their own drum shape the world. Come back tomorrow and we'll be here.